Coach Cam Coach made this shit. I'm going to kick this off with Netflix exclusives. Fuck the most, uh, the, I think the definition of hit or miss, it's, there's barely been Netflix exclusives that I'm like, that was palatable. Like it was just okay. Mm -hmm. Didn't think one way or the other. It's usually, holy shit, this is just trying to. Like, this is just, like, bottom line. It's just trying to appeal to everybody, the most popular uh, group, which I get. Mm-hmm. Or it, they come out with some, you know, some gems once in a while. Like, uh, of course, the one I think of is BoJack. Yeah. But, yeah. And then you get other shit like, like Bridgerton. And mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know what's up with the old-timey, like, basically pornos. I don't know why that's been so popular lately, but yeah, you get those, you get like 20 of those for every one Bojack. So yeah, because of that, I'll say overrated. Okay. I think it's underrated. Yeah. Cause I think most people hate on Netflix. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah. I don't hate Netflix, but mo- I think a lot of people are just like Netflix is the worst streaming service. Like a lot of people kind of shit on it. A lot yeah. of people are ready to ditch Netflix and I do get it, but the exclusives is kind of why you, I mean, not necessarily, but that's yeah. kind of why you go there too. Yeah. Um, when I think of their exclusives, I didn't watch a couple. The Witcher was really big squid games. Yeah. Um, Ozark games. is Ozark a Netflix exclusive. I looked up and it said, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I say this list right here has it. Um, you, Stranger Things, and then the ones, those are all ones that I haven't seen that I've heard good yeah. things about. But the two that really stand out is obviously Bojack, my favorite show ever, and then Tick, Tick, Boom. Yeah. I mean, I think they have good movies, too. Well, the thing is that they, they're they the pioneers. They're supposed to be ahead yeah. of everybody else in this, and they're just fucking not. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm excited for what they got this year because that trailer looked fucking banging. Yeah. But they upped their prices, got rid of the shows that people like, like The Office, Family Guy, me. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm talking about me, yeah, what yeah. I like. Well, they I got think rid of, Office is a... Oh, yeah. It's pretty universally. Yeah, it's not yeah. just like a very niche yeah, thing. Yeah. But, yeah, they got rid of all that shit, Up the prices to make shows that, like, a lot of people don't fucking like for, like I said, one out of every 20 of them to hit. Yeah. And... I don't know. This year looks a little bit more promising, but they're upping the fucking price again. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I just don't know if it's worth it at the end of the day. I'm going to keep it just because of the one out of every 20 for me is worth it. Yeah. But I get why people are like, no, I'm just going to stick with like HBO Max or Hulu and shit because they're pretty fucking good. Yeah. The thing is, is I don't think anyone has one streaming yeah. service. Like I don't yeah. know anyone that's just like, oh, I – only use this one and i feel like netflix is such a complimentary one like netflix is like you should have it and something else but i guess if you're gonna only have one netflix is probably not your best pick well netflix doesn't bundle with anybody no like paramount you get showtime hulu disney and then espn those three have their own thing like yeah they just don't fucking associate with anybody which usually i respect but when it comes to (laughs) what i'm viewing i fucking hate it yeah but I don't know. I think we're going to get to a weird tipping point where literally every yeah. channel has their own streaming service. And the people that are like, no, including me, they're like, no, I don't have cable. I just stream. And they're just like, why? You're paying a lot more at this point because you're paying for every individual channel, like 10, 15 bucks a month now. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I think also we're starting to see that, like, there's some companies that obviously cannot compete with Netflix, Hulu, HBO or the three that I think of. Yeah. But you see, like, Peacock, who obviously Sneaky. they can't compete on that same level. So what they do is they just make it TV for free. And then you can – I think you can buy out the – Well, and they also put maybe not all but a lot of their eggs in one very popular fucking basket in buying the office. Yeah. And that's where we streamed the fucking Super Bowl. So mm-hmm. – Yeah. So it – I think there's like weird, cool ways that you're seeing like other streaming services try to get around it. So I wonder like what's going to be because 
Netflix is kind of going big budget now. Yeah. I wonder if that'll pay off or not. So we'll see. Is Pornhub a streaming service? <laughs> kind of, right? I guess. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Like maybe. Yeah. I don't know. To me, that's, I don't know. I, yeah. I like it then. It, that wasn't the question though. It no. Was it was Netflix. Netflix. Okay. Overrated. <laughs> Underrated. Valentine's Day. Um, As a guy. I mean, just in general. I am a guy, so it's only going to be from a guy's perspective, well, really. Yeah, but you could say in general, like, oh, I like making my woman happy with getting her a necklace or something. But this is you. This is just you. How you feel about it. It's definitely overrated. I don't think it's horrible by any means. I, I think it's okay. Yeah. And that's why it's overrated. I think it's like yeah. middle of the line of a holiday. Like it's, it's like, it's lower tier for me as a guy. Like I could really go without it. Like my girlfriend was like, Hey, can we just skip this year? I'm like, I've really forgot when it was coming up. So yeah, that'd be perfect. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just okay. Yeah. And I think that's why it's overrated. Not because it's horrible. Yeah. It's just okay. I just hate seeing the post of like women who have been single for like 20 years and they're just like, pouting about valentine's day and i'm like why who cares <laughs> that tactic hasn't just, worked for the past 20 years buddy in general i hate when guys do it too though i hate when i see people just complain about valentine's girls, day girls it makes more sense yeah they probably are going to get some sympathy dick dick not thick <laughs> guys they're not going to get any sympathy poon out of that they're just like that's sad yeah you look sad i don't know i don't i, I kind of just hate people complaining about Shit on social media, so just in general. Oh, okay, on social media, yes, because I would say I love complaining. Yeah, but yeah. I, just I seeing keep people that to myself and the people I love. <laughs> just seeing people bitch on social media, especially about like Valentine's Day. I'm just like, get over it. Or get drunk. My next one is NBA All Star Weekend. <sighs> it's overrated. I have not cared to tune in for a while, and. It's all stuff that you gotta understand why it's not that exciting. Mm -hmm. Like you're obvious. I mean, we've seen some where they've been like pretty competitive All Star games. Actually, the past couple years have been fairly competitive. I like the new format of the All Star. Game. I do too, and I think it makes it a lot better. It. But I also understand people not balling the fuck out during All Star weekend like they used to and getting hurt. Like. I don't know, and especially today for, uh, like, the, the past couple seasons, it seems like everybody's getting injured. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I know injuries have always plagued the NBA, but, like, I don't mm -hmm. know. It seems like the stars are getting injured more and more. Yeah. So I get them and probably their coaches being like, hey, just fucking chill out. You Take know? it easy. You We're don't need have a windmill. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. But dunk contest, hit or miss. Dunk contest has always been my favorite. So yeah. for the fact of it just seems like <clears throat> people who are really good at dunking don't want to be a part of it. Yeah. Breaks my fucking heart. Well, and, and I get not wanting to overdo your stars, mm -hmm. but like I'm tired of seeing people that I don't know. Like I want to see the stars yeah. compete. They might not be the best dunkers in the league. And granted, if we would have stuck to that, platform that I just spewed out, we wouldn't have got uh, Aaron Gordon and Zach Levine. So there is some problems with that. I'm mm -hmm. not perfect, but it's, I don't know. Like, I mean, wouldn't it be cool to just see like a year that Derrick Rose competed, LeBron competed, Dwayne Wade competed. Yeah. Like, I think that would make it fun for people. But, yeah. But I get it. I, I, I see both sides of that. Yeah. Same with the three point competition. Like yeah. usually it's some white dude I've never heard of that wins it or this year, uh, Carl Anthony Towns, but like, a I'm center like, first center ever. Pretty yeah. cool. Um, I've always thought the three point contest is cool. I never wanted to watch it. I never cared to watch it. Fun fact. Do you know who has the worst three point competition score ever? No. Michael Jordan. Really? Still standing. The worst three point competition score ever. I don't know exactly wow. what it was, but I just know it's the worst. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He's not a three point shooter. Makes sense. I mean, neither's Cat. He's a good three-point shooter. He's not who I thought would have won. Yeah. 
or even would have been in talks to being in it. But I mean, he's he's better three point shooter than Jordan was. Yeah, so. it's still. I don't yeah. know. Still odd. Still wild. Yeah. Zombies. People's fear of zombies. Not like zombie movies. Okay. But like the do, fear. Do you think of people zombies? are overly scared of zombies? Like yeah. or underly scared of zombies? Yeah, I think it's kind of odd to prepare for zombies. Yeah. Yeah. There's actual like. Yeah, people bunkers. like. Yeah, people yeah. like legitimately prepare for the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. And. Yeah, it just seems – it seems like the odd problem to point out. Like yeah. there's a lot of shit that could happen in the future that yeah. you might like want to prepare for. Diseases. I yeah. Mean, I guess you could consider that a disease depending yeah. on who you're talking to. I don't want to talk to that person. But, <laughs> but yeah, it just seems like – I don't know. Especially overly dedicated to it. Like yeah. I don't get it. That's got to be a bittersweet day for uh, zombie <laughs> preppers. Though. Yeah. Because, like, they're like, oh, shit, that sucks. Zombies are attacking the Earth. But then they're like, fucking told you. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah. got to be a pretty good day. Because up until that point, they've looked like total, like, nut jobs. Yeah. But that day is their day to shine. And, you know. But. Yeah. Unless it ever comes true, they will just always look stupid. Which is a weird place to be in. Yeah. Like, you don't want the world to end to look smart. Yeah. Yeah. I... Honestly, not that scared of it, even if it happened, because I'm assuming it's going to start in, like, if any Here. movie's right I've, that I've ever seen, it's usually going to start in a city. Mm. And I'm hoping somebody would just nuke that entire town immediately. Like, I wouldn't want it to be like, a oh, okay, let's get up to people that look okay. Like, no. Nuke everybody in that area and... Let's just go about our business. Like, that was just a bad day. Yeah. And then the next day, well, we'll do better. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I've never been worried about it. So. Never? Like, even as a kid? No. No, zombies were never really, like, the thing. I was like, oh, shit, that could happen. Like, maybe also because I never watched, like, a movie that tried to make it realistic either. Like the like virus days later or something. Or, yeah. Like the virus got out that infected them. Like, I guess as a kid, I was watching like the arm jump out of the, the graves and stuff. And I'm like, that shit's not happening. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not worried. Yeah. And my last one, catchphrases. <sighs> so give the, me some examples. Okay. So the reason I kind of went with this is, we're both a big fan of like Good Mythical Morning and the Sink It and Dink It or Dink It and Sink It. The uh, that was my nickname in high school. Um, they have a bunch for some reason, I can't think of a lot, but they do. And Rhett actually mentioned that he fucking hates catchphrases, oh, wow. but he understands they're good for the show and so he does them. And Link loves them and so he. You know, he likes it. He's, I feel like he's Red glad. just hates Link, and he knows <laughs> Link loves him, so he hates them. <laughs> it really wouldn't surprise me if that was the problem. But um, not not the most entertaining answer. But when they're good, I love them, and when they suck, they're really really bad. Like when, I mean, I've never been in this situation because I don't live in a sitcom. But like, you'll see like when they try either on purpose, and it's just a ongoing thing in the show or if the show itself is trying to get the catchphrase going and it just doesn't work Mm -hmm. and you're just like shut up you know like it's just yeah you know you're not the rock you're not gonna get a uh like can you smell yeah kind of catchphrase like it's i don't even know if you call that a catchphrase the catchphrase is just something you kind of work in organically right you can't work that in organically I would consider it his catchphrase without knowing the definition of a catchphrase. If yeah. it's the same, like, I don't know, if it's what I think of a catchphrase. Because I think catchphrase, of it, like, that's how the cookie crumbles. Like, something you can use in multiple scenarios. Yeah. And not just, I don't know, because I don't see me working that in a sentence. Yeah. And part of it's screaming, too. Like, it's not, you can't just say, can you smell what the rock's cooking? No, you gotta, yeah. you gotta really yell it. I'm really hoping you'd yell there. No, no, I'm not feeling it. Um, I think they're underrated. I think when I catch, like, I think when I watch something and they have like a cool in real life, are we talking in real life or just shows? I mean, 
Both, I guess. Have you ever met someone that tries to use a catchphrase? I mean, I've... Like, that's how the cookie crumbles and shit like that. I I know... I've heard people kind of, like, try and just, like, have their little sayings and stuff. But, like, no one's been so extreme. Yeah. That I'm like, all right, calm down. Like, don't quit with the fucking catchphrases. But... Yeah. No, I think they're underrated. I think when a catchphrase is good... I love it. I'll remember that all the time. Like whenever I think of the show, I think of yeah the catchphrases on it sometimes. Or I'll catch myself saying those catchphrases. Okay. Take this week. Come up with a catchphrase and I'll get back to you next week on the podcast probably. Coming up with your own catchphrase? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I'll try. Give you a I week. I'll, I'll probably forget about it. So just take your time. Mm-hmm. And finally... Tom Holland. It's hard to say he's underrated now. I mean, he's everywhere. Everyone loves him. But you could say, like, I don't know how many movies you've seen of his, but you could say, like, maybe acting prowess or, like, maybe as Spider-Man if he's underrated or overrated. I mean. Maybe just as a social figure. I get it. I get all the hype. I think he's properly rated. I really do. He's a little cutie, man. Yeah, I get why people like him. I think as Spider-Man, um, he's considered the best of the worst, and I get it. Nostalgia can just get in the way and just be like— You think he's considered best of the worst? Best or the worst. Oh, I think yeah, he's yeah, the yeah. best of the worst. Because no, I would no, say, no. I, I know people that like are ready to fight over Tobey Maguire yeah. and being not considered the best Spider-Man. And you're very the opposite, same as me. We yeah. both think that he's very much the best. Yeah, people just get big nostalgia boners. That's and what I'm saying. just like, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, and it'll be people that won't admit to it. Yeah. Even if oh, they yeah. start to think different, they're just like, well, no, I already stuck by this. This is the hill I'm going to die on. Yeah. I just think, um, yeah, I think he's really properly rated. Like, I get why. If, because everything that I like about the Spider Man movies, if someone said that they disliked them for those reasons, I get it. Like, not people. Yeah. Some people want the over the top, and his yeah. movies aren't always that. And then when it comes to his, like, social, he's super likable. He's yeah. with someone who is also extremely likable. So I get why everyone loves him. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just get it. And I also love him, so he's properly rated. He's not over or under. I would say he's underrated. I went to go see Uncharted this weekend. With, oh, really? Yeah. yeah How it was, was it? Pretty fucking good. Yeah. Like, it's not, like, a great movie, but, I mean... When it comes to video game adaptations, it's pretty solid. Like, it's funny. It's entertaining. Even if you don't look at it as a video game adaptation, mm-hmm. it's just a fun movie. Entertaining. And it, the funny parts are actually pretty fucking funny. Yeah. And that was kind of cool to see from him because he has some funny bits in Spider-Man. But, yeah. like, I don't know. I think that got to be put more on a pedestal in Uncharted. So, cool. it's pretty cool. Yeah. Tom Holland, I think, underrated. Yeah. And that's it. Three for three. Yeah.